Not only will this go down as one of the most annoying Uber rides in history. Eddie. Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Boy. But I think it's worth sharing because what I found out about these people at the end makes me think this entire situation shouldn't even be legal. And I kind of wanted to draw attention to a problem that's just waiting to happen. Hey, hey, only four. Sorry, I can only take four. What do I do? I in the front? Yeah, yeah, but I can only take four. I'm sorry. I'm getting left on the fucking street. Right off the bat, we got some friction. Not only does it make our first interaction a bad one, it tells me that these people are too self-centered to think outside of themselves for even just one second and realize that I have zero incentive to take extra people. I mean, if you're gonna ask me to break the law, you can at least try to bribe me with some cold, hard cash. It also tells me that the people getting in my car are either too irresponsible or too cheap to call their own Uber. Grant, that's not always true. Sometimes it's just an honest mistake. We just have two more people popping in real quick. Is that cool? Uh, no. Nah, is is that the way I can make it an XL though? I can. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What do you think? like Transformers? <laughs> nah, <laughs> but I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, no, okay. I, I mean. Um, <laughs> you should have told me to call an XL. I didn't know. Donnie looked at him serious. He thought this boy was going to turn this John into a minivan. No. <laughs> and those guys are still one of my all time greatest rides. So because of them, even when people are trying to squeeze. Ho hold up. What's up, guys? There's like. Seven of you? Six no, of you? No. Five. Please. Like I'm so sorry. Five. Can there I tip you, please? I'll Could tip you, you just... $20. That's my fault. Yeah, uh, it's all good. I always try to give the benefit of the doubt. Sorry about that. No, it's, it's okay. Just a ton of cops around. Right? No, yeah, it's okay. That started to fade, however, when these girls touched me not once, but twice. Now, I know some people who hate watch my videos like to point out that I react differently when a guy touches me than when a girl touches me. Oh, oh, bro, 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 you bro, 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 Chill on the seat. Chill on the seat. And to that, I say... No shit, Sherlock. I don't know what kind of Mulans and Amazons you hang out with, but 99.9% .9 of the women I come across, especially drunk college girls in my Uber, do not pose a physical threat to me. I'm not trying to sound like a tough guy here. I know I'm many things and a great fighter is not one of them. I'm just saying some of you have never been in a physical confrontation before and it shows. I don't care about a lighter. When I light your fucking girl fire, take this where you gotta go, Sherlock. Yo, don't yo, don't yo, yo, turn it up. You heard me, right? Bro. Yo, no, you, you heard fucking me, right? retard. Yo, He's dead. Oh, Turn the fucking music up. So if and when a woman touches me, it's only uncomfortable in the sense that it feels wildly inappropriate for a plethora of reasons. If you don't think I look super uncomfortable here, then we have a very different understanding of body language. That's why I always have my dash camera, aka the Me Too Repeller 5000, powered up and rolling, just in case I ever need evidence that I always keep my hands to myself. Sorry to touch your leg. I, I was going for you. I, like, I, 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 I don't recall. Now at this point in the story, we're going to jump from annoyance and flirt with the line of disrespect. Hey, Uber, where are we going again? We're going to Maya's house. Oh, we're going to Maya's house. You know my name, Jordan. Let's not call me Uber. I tend to think people who do things like this are testing how much they can get away with. So I try to nip that in the bud real quick. Spoiler alert, it did not work. Let's not call me Uber. I f I'm not going to lie. What's my name, name, Uber? I uh, already forget your name. And I'm, I forget. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry I forget your name, but what's your name? Eddie. Eddie, I'm Jordan. Eddie, do you have a phone charger? Uh. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Yes, you do. Okay. Now this is where I really start to get upset. Imagine my perspective. Out of nowhere, I see this squirrely little arm reaching around my midsection. A general area that has in it my steering wheel, wallet, and balls. Three things I never under any circumstance want an Uber rider to touch. At least not while I'm driving. And you can see an ever so slight instinctual jolt in my arm before I realized she was going for the car charger. This chick will never know how close she was to getting the car Malone elbow to the face. Not to mention the entitlement of this little Uber rider. Eddie, do you have a phone charger? Yes, you do. Between that and the fact that she almost got to smell what the rock is cooking, I started thinking about how there were so many things that could go wrong with this ride. And that's when I got pushed too far. Before anyone says I'm overreacting here, remember, it's a culmination of annoyances that led me to this breaking point. Because if I ended a ride every time someone tried to squeeze or invaded my personal space or called me Uber, you're in a different area, because your girl, your girlfriend don't matter. Right, Uli? It's not my name. 
Well, I'd lose about 20% of my ride. What really did it for me was this. So don't Eddie, do that because it's going to... Eddie, how old are you? Eddie, listen, how, wait, wait, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Guys, just because you just charge when you get home or you got to hold it up way, front because it's going to... Eddie. Whoa. Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Boy. I don't find this very amusing. I know you guys think it's funny. Oh my God, Eddie, do you have a camera, a dash cam? I do, for people cam? like you. So yes, <laughs> you just I chill totally out. Understand. All right, all right, all right. How stop, old are you? Stop. Stop. Do not bother Eddie. Drive with my house. Shane, how are you getting home? Walking and then biking. Eddie, how old are you? Okay. <laughs> Doesn't want to answer the question. <laughs> I guess you're really old then. Eddie, when's your birthday? <laughs> Here's the thing, I've never been one to be offended by the things people say. Like, when she addressed me as Uber, it's not like I'm not an Uber driver, and it's not like I'm ashamed of what I do, but it's the intention behind it, especially when she calls me that immediately after asking for my actual name. It's like, I know what you're doing, and I don't like it. So yeah, this is nails on a chalkboard annoying. Eddie, Eddie, hey, Eddie, <laughs> Eddie, 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 boy. But I can deal with annoying. What I can't deal with is something someone trying to annoy me. You get the difference? And I kind of hate how I look right here, all smug, sipping my coffee as if I'm trying to make it a point to show that I'm ignoring her. But the truth is, I'm just doing my best to keep it together as I figure out how I'm going to play this. Even before I find out the troubling truth about who these people are, I know I'm in a lose-lose situation. Behind door number one is continuing to get shit on by these annoying and entitled little Uber riders. Not very appealing. Option B would be to verbally unleash the frustration that was boiling inside of me. I'll turn this damn bus around. That'll end your precious little field trip pretty damn quick. In hopes of regaining control of the situation. But let's be real. Unless this chick has a weapon, it's almost impossible to justify a grown man lashing out at a young girl who looks to be under five feet tall and maybe 90 pounds soaking wet. These choices left me feeling like the guy who has to cover the one girl in the game of pickup basketball. You either get beat by a girl or you beat a girl. Either way, you look and feel like a total jackass. So that left me with option C. And I didn't want to do it because one, you never know how people are going to react when you threaten to kick them out. And plus, it was raining and the girl who called the Uber and the guy sitting in the back seemed like decent people. But it was the best option I had. Doesn't want to answer the question. <laughs> I guess you're really old then. Eddie, when's your birthday? I'll Jordan. tell you what, I'm just going to drop you off at the corner here. You can call a different Uber because okay. this just isn't just worth stop. my time. Yeah, wait. So, this is the last chance, yeah, right? I know it's not you. I don't no, want to punish no, anyone else. No, it's okay. I remember Jordan, my stop. first beer. Okay. Like, yeah. grow up. Jesus Christ. What I would find out next about these riders has me thinking this entire situation is just a tragedy waiting to happen. So I feel obligated to say to any of you young bucks out there watching this, look, go do your thing being a stupid kid. I was a jackass when I was that age for sure. Shoot, I'm still a jackass now on occasion. Smiley! But the trick is, when you do adult things like getting drunk and calling an Uber around other adults that aren't part of the shenanigans, at least try to pretend to act like a adult before you get yourself or somebody else hurt. See, after riding in an awkward silence for what felt like forever as that annoying Uber rider was trying to push the limits because God forbid she isn't the center of attention for a couple of seconds. I think she does. I think she just wants to be proud. I'm sorry I'm coming off like this. I'm really no, a nice no, guy. No, no, it's okay. No, no, no. It's just you like, it's not your fault. Nice guy. I'm my really friend sorry. is just no. I'm just like very tall. I, I, I feel you bad. Maya, you all seem I'm nice. Your team. It's okay. It just seems like, I just, like, feel like I'm you're just trying like to annoy me. And it's like, yeah, well, I'm. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all good. I wanted to kind of ease the tension for a bit, possibly prevent them from reporting me to Uber on some bullshit. Yeah, I'm very Are you guys down for like a senior week or something? Yeah. I'm we're at, not, I'm we're not quite done. I'm not. I'm yeah, just, I know. Yeah, I'm I'm that's done that's not surprising. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. We got a few more years you know, for that. Did you catch that? That means you can assume at best they're probably going into their sophomore year of high school. Quite possibly they're freshmen. Up until that point, I just figured they were drinking underage because they were coming from a house party. But being around drunk 18 and 19 year olds is a lot different than being around drunk 14 and 15 year olds. Do you understand the propensity of shit that could go wrong driving around drunk 
female minors. That's all right. We'll worry about that later. There is no reasonable amount of money you could pay a normal functioning adult male to knowingly put himself into that situation. But because Uber operates in the way that it does, not letting the driver have any idea who he's picking up and not requiring the rider to provide any such information, it happens on the daily. And I'm sure it's going to continue to happen because, hey, maximizing profits and deflecting corporate responsibility onto the working man is the American way, baby. If you want to see what Uber did that got me all hot and bothered in the first place, check out this video here. Thanks for watching.